Welcome to the Rhythmix 1.2.0 beta overview in which we describe the latest changes and new features to Rhythmix. Now before we start, please like this video, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you get notified every time we create new content. We didn't have a chance to make the video for version 1.1.0 beta, so we will discuss some of the new improvements implemented in that release as well in this video. I would say that the most important feature added in this latest version was the Apple Silicon support. Among the functionality, the most crucial one would be this one-shot feature. So the change we made right here was that if the amp envelope is disabled, any sample loaded onto the pad when triggered would play its entire length, regardless of how long the trigger was held or how long the MIDI note that triggered it was lasting. So it would play as a one shot, always playing the entire length of the sample. So if the amp envelope is off, we have a one shot feature. You can notice right here in the edit window, there have been some graphical changes. The left and right loop markers were moved out of this waveform window. And we also added a ruler. Another change we did right here was that if you had an amp envelope or any kind of envelope right here, you will notice that you can now control the envelope right here by controlling the points. And you can control the convexity as well, just like that. Same here. So any point on the envelope can be controlled by clicking on the point and dragging it. We have also greatly improved the monophonic polyphonic switch right here. And now when you switch to monophonic, all the instances, no matter how they were triggered, was it the MIDI or the internal sequencer, or was it the trigger right here by pressing the pad, they all are in one group. So any trigger is going to stop the previous one. In fact, as soon as you change any of the pads that maybe had multiple instances of itself playing, as soon as you change it to monophonic, only the last instance remains. So it immediately changes to monophonic. Of course, in case things ever got crazy and you had too many things playing in polyphony and you wanted all of them to stop, we have added this nice kill sound button. So once you click this, anything that played now stops. I'm going to try this. So let me lower the volume. It's going to be multiples of this. So I'm going to trigger this multiple times. And kill all button just stops the sound of everything. Now other changes included was moving the record button for recording into the internal sequencer from right here in the pads view to the transport bar. So now that button is visible from anywhere in Rhythmix. So if I end up being in the sequencer and I want to see this sequence as I'm recorded, I can still stop the recording. I can still see the status of this record button, which used to be in the pads and you had to switch there to disengage it. Using the tap button, to discern the BPM of something you're hearing is now greatly improved. So it decides on the BPM after four taps, just like this. So every four taps are going to be calculated into an average BPM for those four taps. That's going to give you much more precision and it's going to be much easier to get to the desired BPM. Now I mentioned the sequencer before, our sequencer can now follow any BPM changes. So let's say if I was playing this project, and I had this entire sequencer playing. So let me change back to the one, two, yeah. And if I had that playing and I just move the BPM up, I would just follow and always stay perfectly in sync. See that? Also some users reported to us, they were unable to select, you know, empty pads. Now you can do that. If nothing, just to see if there is a sequence that exists on an empty pad. I think the thing that actually makes your life the easiest right now is that you can reset the entire sequencer by just control plus clicking this trash can button on a Windows computer or command plus clicking that trash can button on a Mac. Before you had to reset each one separately. Now you can just control click and they all just get reset. When dragging MIDI out, if there is an empty pad that had a sequence in it, that pad's sequence would not be included in the dragged out MIDI. Once again, overall, we've made many improvements. We have discontinued the VST2, but we have added support for audio units. And of course, you'll always have access to VST3. The offline mode has been introduced. So once you log into Rhythmix, if you keep the Remember Me checked, you can stay offline for a month. That is it for this video. If you have any other doubts and you want to learn more about Rhythmix, we added one more thing on top, and that's when you click the Rhythmix logo, it opens the Rhythmix online manual. Have fun using Rhythmix.